السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن ولا um, I want to address the sisters in particular in this uh, reminder um, and before I do so I just want to remind you uh, that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم it was from his sunnah to occasionally go and uh, address the sisters directly uh, and so uh, we shouldn't uh, become infected with the disease of feminism oh why aren't you reminding the brothers why aren't you addressing them why don't you speak to them uh, and uh, really this is uh, something uh, which I'd like to get out of the way uh, before we begin Barakallahu Feekum uh, with regards to the reminder today, Ikhwani Fillah, then I want to talk about the correct hijab uh, and what we see of uh, sisters falling into major errors uh, and falling into sin with regards to uh, wearing the uh, headscarf and observing the correct hijab. Um, sadly now what we see is that the headscarf has, or the hijab, as many people know it, it has uh, become a fashion accessory uh, such that we have entire you know uh, YouTube channels and thousands and thousands of tutor tutorials uh, teaching people how to make the uh, hijab fashionable and various uh, ways of, of, of wearing the headscarf or tying the headscarf uh, how to uh, look glamorous when you are wearing it and others uh, besides that one thing we need to know, my uh, sisters, is that number one, uh, the hijab and the way that a woman must cover herself and the aura of a woman is not up to me, it's not up to you, it's not up to my desires or your desires. Rather, this is something that has been legislated by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, has been clarified by the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Therefore, there is no room for anybody to come today uh, and say, you know, it's okay, for example, uh, for my ears to be on show, it's okay, for example, for my neck to be on show, it's okay to wear a headscarf and then have my ankles on show or my shins or even my feet on show. All of this is something which is uh, forbidden and this is something which you will be sinful for. So for the uh, sake of clarity, then let's go through what must be co covered uh, from the uh, from the woman uh, and what the sisters must ensure that they cover uh, particularly when they are going out and especially 1000% if you are uh, falling into the issue of putting your pictures online on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook and other than that then this is even more the case for you we're not talking about the permissibility of doing such a thing even though our scholars have mentioned that it's impermissible but let's talk about what needs to be covered. So the hair needs to be covered and the ears need to be covered and the neck needs to be covered and the chest needs to be covered. And of course, everything below that needs to be covered, including the ankles and the feet. They need to be covered as per the ahadith of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Sisters, what this means is, is that you can't wear a headscarf and then have your neck on show. You can't wear a headscarf and then have your favorite pair of uh, earrings dangling down out of your headscarf. You can't wear a turban style hijab, okay? Note, the only women in this dunya who wear turban uh, style or turbans on their heads, they are the Sikh women. As for the Muslim women, this is absolutely haram and this is something new that has come out in the last three or four years or even five years. Okay, and it's not permissible to do. Sisters, it's not permissible to wear a headscarf and then all of your neck and your shoulders are on show. It's not permissible to wear a headscarf and then your arms are on show or even your forearms are on show. It's not permissible to wear a headscarf and then your, uh, your uh, bottoms, they have slits in there. Or it's not permissible to wear a headscarf and then wear leggings or tights underneath. And it's not permissible to wear a headscarf and then have your feet on show or other than that. All of these things are from the things that a Muslim woman, she must cover up, okay? All of these things are from the things that a Muslim woman must cover up. 
And likewise, my sisters, what you need to know is that hijab, yes, okay, you might want to wear the hijab in your own style, in your own way. You need to know that this hijab is not from your religion or your parents' religion or your forefathers' religion or your particular tribe's religion. This religion, it has rules and it has guidelines, that which has been set in the book of Allah and the sunnah of the messenger, alayhi salam, the way our scholars have uh, explained it for us. And so if you're going out with two tons of makeup on your face, if you're going out with a face full of makeup, such that you're going to be attracting attention to yourself, you have not fulfilled the conditions of the correct hijab. Likewise, wearing everything, even if you are fully covered from head to toe, and then putting on a lot of perfume, again, this is something which contradicts the correct hijab. And so, you know, sisters, they will be feeling upset with this. They'll be saying, you know, you're a chauvinist. You want us to cover, you want us to wear a black bag from head to toe, etc. And so this shows a disease in your hearts. This shows a disease in your hearts where you fail to submit to the book of Allah and the sunnah of the Prophet wasallam. And sadly, we find today uh, people you know, hoarding around these 21st century muftis where everything is permissible, no problem. And they are stripping this religion of its great uh, and classical uh, legacy. And they are doing this just to fit into the West. Sisters, please, you have to fear Allah Jalla wa ala with regards to wearing the correct hijab. And as I mentioned, don't, don't for a second Try to uh, look at your own weaknesses and then say, but this is okay. It's better for you to say, look, I have this weakness where I wear the hijab and I wear too much makeup. But this is a weakness, but I know that this is haram. It's better for you to do that and to make tawbah to Allah. But the second that you try and come out and say, yeah, the, the turban style hijab, no problems. Keep your, keep your neck on show, no problem. The second you try and say that something like this is halal, you're falling into very, very dangerous waters, okay? And it may, and, and you know, sometimes to make something halal, which Allah has made haram, is an act of kufr, kufr akbar, okay? And so what I'm trying to get you to see, fear Allah with regards to your tongues. Don't speak about uh, an affair which you have no knowledge of. And you're not going to find, you know, the softy lofty muftis talking about this, because the majority of their followers are the sisters. And so, you know, the doctor, sometimes he gives you an injection or sometimes he gives you a, uh, a medicine and that medicine is sour. But it needs to be sour in order to cure your illness by the permission of Allah. And so if I was saying something and everything that I always said was always sweet, then you know there's a problem with me. You know that there's a problem with the things that I'm saying because I'm not telling you what you need to hear. I'm telling you what you want to hear. But as for now, I'm telling you what you need to hear insha'Allah and that is that the things that we see on Instagram not the correct hijab the things that we see in the high street stores with all the colorful hijabs not the correct hijab sisters if your hijab if your hijab look like it looks like it's just escaped from the zoo yani it looks like uh, you've just skinned a zebra or your hijab looks like it's just uh, you know, run out of the cheetah's uh, enclosure, then you know that this is not the correct hijab. If you look like a, uh, you know, if you look like uh, the, the botanical gardens and you've got flowers growing on your hijab, this is not the correct hijab. If your hijab is, is sparkly and, 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 and it's got diamantes and all sorts of other stuff on it, this is not the correct hijab. The purpose of the hijab is not to, uh, is not to beautify you further. Rather, the purpose of the hijab is number one, obedience to Allah and His Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam upon they, their commands, the way the uh, companions understood it, radiallahu anhum. And it's so that you don't, it's so that you don't attract more attention to yourselves. And now, and now, even the non-Muslim men, they have started to take a liking to our hijabi sisters because of the way that they have beautified themselves. So sisters, this brief reminder, fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with regards to your hijab and uh, don't play with the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you have a weakness, admit you have a weakness. Don't try and make this from the religion. 
Don't talk from your whims and your desires. And please, my dear sisters, please learn about the conditions of the correct hijab. And don't listen to those people who tell you what your own desires want to hear. Rather, they tell you what you need to hear, which is from the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ultimately, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala knows best. Uh, and once again, I would just say, please, Jazakumullahu Khaira. Uh, that if you are feeling incensed at this and if your feminist uh, desires are raging right now please do us all a favor uh, and go and listen to somebody else wa jazakumullahu khayra assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh